The crash of U.S. Air Flight 1016 is the first accident involving a major airline in North Carolina in 20 years. Both pilots and the cabin crew have survived, but of the 52 passengers, 37 are dead. Greg Fyth, senior investigator with the National Transportation Safety Board, will lead the investigation. Anytime you go to an airplane accident site, a crash site, there's always this wave of emotion. I don't care how seasoned an investigator you are, because you know that people have been seriously injured or killed in that particular event. Examining the wreckage is the team's first task. So what do we got? They must determine if a loss of engine power was a factor in the crash. Uh -huh. They examine the DC-9's two Pratt & Whitney power plants. Right away, they spot something unexpected. Look at that. The thrust reverser on this engine is deployed. Their examination of the right engine indicated that the, uh, the thrust reverser was in the deployed position and that the thrust reverser on the left engine was in the stowed position. Thrust reversers are deployed upon landing to help slow the plane down. They work by redirecting the engine's high-powered exhaust gases forward. If it happens in flight, that's detrimental because if it happens on one engine, in a multi-engine airplane, you create an asymmetrical thrust situation. Maybe that's what brought this flight down. We've had thrust reversers deploy in flight, and depending on the speed of the aircraft, you can literally break that engine right off the aircraft. Closer investigation reveals abrasion marks on the metal of the right side reverser. Marks that suggest a heavy impact with the ground. It's an important clue. Further analysis leads to a definitive answer. Investigators know exactly when and how the right side reverser opened. They were able to make a determination that the reverser on that right engine, even though it was deployed, um, happened during the course of the impact sequence and did not happen in flight. At least we know it wasn't thrust reversers. Eliminating one potential cause is a step forward for investigators. But they're still a long way from understanding what brought down U.S. Air Flight 1016.